Today is a big milestone. And I'm sure you're all wondering what it looks like in real life and how it works. Well, want to know more. It's finally here. When it's open, it's a tablet offering a big screen experience. Thank you. It's gorgeous. I'm excited to announce, here and now, the release of the Bixby Developer Studio. Welcome to the Bixby Developer Center. From the Bixby Developer Center, you have access to documentation, all searchable from a beautiful interface. We have reference guides, developer guides. You can set up your teams and capsules and manage their visibility of every capsule you develop. You can engage with the community and our support engineers. And most importantly, you can download the amazing Bixby Developer Studio for either Windows or Mac. As a developer, you extend Bixby's knowledge and capabilities by creating a capsule. Think of a capsule like a knowledge pack from the Matrix movies. When a user enables a capsule, their Bixby now knows about all of the capabilities defined for that service. To demonstrate this out-of-the-world technology, let's start with a space capsule that lets a user search for and make reservations at a space resort. With Bixby, you start by modeling the concepts and the actions for your domain. And then, this is where it gets a little crazy. Unlike existing approaches, where developers have to write a lot of code to handle every use case and interaction, with Bixby, all of this is going to be written for you by the AI in a few milliseconds. Let's give this a try. I'll enter a request, a training example, make a reservation for two people at a space resort on Mars with an oxygen bar. Uh, first, we need to give a goal. So I think what I really want to do is make a reservation. And then I indicate the important input. So Mars is a planet. Notice how autocomplete makes this a lot easier. This will be a search criteria, oxygen bar. And two people is the number of astronauts I want to bring along with me on my voyage. Now watch. Instantly, Bixby is going to write a program to handle everything for you. And now let's run the program by bringing up uh, a simulator. Now I'm going to take my family on a trip. Let's see. I need a reservation for three people to a resort on Jupiter that has orbital zip lining. My son is really into that these days. <laughs> and what we see is a number of results. Uh, Europa's Jewel, that sounds pretty nice. Let me check this out. Looks great. Uh, good for kids. Orbital zip lining. This is the one that I want. Uh, so let's book it. Now, during the process, at any time, when Bixby needs some information, it can ask that either using a graphical interface, which I could respond to by clicking, or I can simply ask for the next request. Let's see. This, I better wait and put this into the future when this uh, resort is actually built. So maybe the weekend of Christmas 2027. That should be good by then. Um, here, the system is now asking me, what room would I want to stay in? And over time, it will automatically learn. When I'm traveling for two, I want the honeymoon suite. But with my family, I'm probably going to go with something a little cheaper, only $200,000, I think. <laughs> here, it gives a confirmation. And when I confirm, we have a completed transaction without ever leaving the Bixby environment. This after teaching Bixby a few more use cases, you might uh, go to, you can build tests where you can actually um, create stories to administer tests and make sure everything is working. Uh, there are many aspects of this really beautiful intelligent development environment.
I give you one new eye. This is reflected in our, our icons, which have been simplified to help you easily recognize and understand what each one is. All the important information you need is within this floating on screen blocks, which is contrasted against the blank space behind them. With One UI, the options on the setting menu has been rearranged to group relative functions together. This helps users to find what they're looking for straight away. We've also regrouped the functions so the most often ones come first. Now, the upper part of the screen is for viewing while the lower part of the screen is for touch interaction. This means the things you do most on your phones are within the range of a thumb and follow a coherent path instead of jumping from one side of the screen to the other. With One UI, your messages begins at the center of the screen where your thumb can easily reach. By examining user behavior, we found people's eyes naturally follow their finger movement when they're interacting with their devices. Because One UI places everything you need to see where it's easy to reach, it just feels much more natural to use. Now, we move the tabs to the bottom of the screen so they are easily accessible for your thumb. Dialog pop-ups, which we all interact throughout the day, are also displayed at the bottom of the screen for easy access. In the past, this pop-up appeared in the center of the screen. But now, with One UI, the pop-up appears at the bottom of the screen so you can tap it faster. We have tuned the color of our design to provide more visual clarity. More distinctive color and contrast offer a more focused and recognizable viewing experience. Speaking of colors, we are offering something totally unique within One UI, a range of colored UX theme that match the color of hardware itself. I'm happy to announce One UI's beta test program, which will begin with US, Germany, and Korea in November, followed by more countries in Europe and Asia. <laughs> we will be releasing One UI for the Galaxy S9, S9 Plus, and the Note 9 starting early next year. finally here. When it's open, it's a tablet. 
offering a big screen experience. Thank you. It's a phone that fits neatly inside your pocket. Thank you. We had to invent a new protective layer. In this case, an advanced composite polymer that's both flexible and tough. So we had to find a new kind of malleable adhesive that allows us to laminate the display layers together securely while enabling them to flex. Our innovation pipeline includes new technologies such as rollable and even stretchable displays. We'll be ready to start mass production in the coming months. The cover display is a fully functioning touchscreen that allows you to use your apps without opening the device. And if you want a bigger screen, you simply unfold it to reveal the full 7.3 inch display. In addition, we're giving people the ability to run up to three apps simultaneously. No swapping between apps, no closing one app to get to another, just multitasking as it was meant to be. We call it multi-active window. First, we'll be distributing an emulator APK to help you test your apps for this new form factor. Second, we'll be providing clear development guidelines so you know exactly what new features your apps should support. And third, we're hosting a developer session this afternoon to go into more detail on both of these. Today, we are announcing that Android is officially supporting the foldable form factor. And we will be building into the platform the APIs to ensure a seamless, foldable experience, supporting new capabilities like app continuity and multi-active window, which will allow your application to handle multitasking in new ways, as well as dealing with resolution changes as a user folds their device. Assistants have been useful, but not truly really essential to people's lives or businesses. They're a basic utility, like this duct tape, but I believe with the introduction of the Bixby Developer Studio, and with the help of all of you out there, this seemingly basic utility can finally transform into something significant, something important, something real that will become a new paradigm that's part of every collected life and business. Thank you, and I'll see you at the Bixby Developer Session.